This video today shows the results from a simulation test in SOLIDWORKS where it's simulating a wheel uh, hitting against a curb. What we're doing is we're actually allowing a drop test, our drop weight of 1,600 pounds to be against the wheel and against the rim. And that weight is being applied to that wheel as uh, that wheel is at 13 degree angle from the uh, horizontal axis. Now, this is also a continuation of that. The first one was the movie that you saw, uh, actually the AVI that was created in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, this actually gives you the results, shows you what the stresses are. As you can see, the dark blues are good. Uh, they are not under any stress, whereas the ch color starts changing to green, then to yellow, and then to red, you start seeing more and more of the stress. And as you can see, this is really a true picture of what SOLIDWORKS is actually doing by applying that pressure to the top of this uh, with the ground being at the bottom, uh, a fixed ground at that, and then the wheel sitting on top of it. Uh, it allows you to see what the stresses are going to be uh, on this rim as that uh, contact or as that weight is placed upon it, which again, like I said, uh, simulates the wheel actually hitting the curb. Uh, this again is just a different view, an isometric view if you will, of that same rim uh, showing you uh, where the uh, stress points are at. And as you can see here, the stress points are on the top two edges of that rim at the highest points where the contact is made. Uh, and that is a true picture here. Uh, and as it goes toward the center where there's less stress, uh, you see the colors merging back into the blue and the light blue and even uh, into the green. So. Uh, the remainder of this is basically showing you different types of uh, free fall. Uh, free fall being that you can actually test this uh, as a free fall weight without any control whatsoever. Uh, and you can also guide it. Uh, this, this weight is being placed uh, about 9 inches above, or 9.15 actually, uh, inches above the rim. And uh, the tests here are showing it two different ways. One is in a free fall situation, while the other is in a guided situation. And one of them is actually falling uh, from a less height than the guided is. The guided is 9.15, uh, whereas the free fall is just a little bit uh, less than 9. So um, gives you a good idea of what the power of simulation is in SOLIDWORKS that it can actually determine the power or the uh, stress on a rim as it uh, hits a curb uh, with 1,600 pounds of force against that rim uh, in two different methods, one free fall and one guide.